Ferret Walk Gamma. Ferret Walk on Tour. Bofo and Ferret were in the Ferret Walk office when the phone rang. They were doing Ferret Walk on stage, and now they were going to take Ferret Walk on tour. Ferret checked the map, and Bofo got on the phone. Bofo was booking motels and colleges. They were going to go into college arenas. Ferret wondered how many jelly beans he should pack for the tour, and Bofo asked if he would need more than one case of clown makeup. The band was taking the sound system off the stage and packing up. Ferret and Bofo helped pack the trailer, then they got on the bus. Ferret was doing a pre-trip inspection. The lights and tires were fine. Another bus was there so they could take the audience with them. This promised to be a good tour. Sabrina, Kim, and Murray Bett hung signs on the windows of the coffee shop, the truck stop, and the hat store. Be back soon. Ferret walk on tour. Then they were off. Ferret Walk Gamma, California. Ferret and Bofo took the stage with Milo and Larry. The clones were a local band from Planet Map, and they came along. Bofo looked like he had an action figure in his pocket. It was Destiny Shannon. The Megans were six inches tall. She was singing. Shannon Destiny had what seemed a giant typewriter and it was on wheels. Destiny Shannon flew out of the pocket and started whispering to Shannon Destiny. They started dancing on the typewriter keys and soon they wrote a poem. Bofo read the poem. To our moms, we love you when you scold us. It's bedtime so you told us. The reason that we stay up late, the world is really great. We just want to dance and sing we just don't want to miss a thing. Me too, Buffo said. I want to call the wife and see if I can stay up late. Imagine that, Fert told Buffo. Ferret Walk Gamma, Nevada. They took the stage. Bofo had Destiny Shannon in his pocket. Ferret was riding a little red wagon. Milo and Larry were on both sides of Bofo. The clones were the band that played while Mimsy danced. Destiny Shannon and Shannon Destiny were doing a reenactment of the bus ride. Milo handed Bofo a cardboard steering wheel Destiny Shannon pretended the band was a jukebox and she got them to play some traveling music. Mimsy started dancing a hoedown. The music stopped suddenly and Buffo commented the city lights were pretty. Buffo's phone rang. It was the wife Sabrina. She just talked to Destiny Shannon. She said it would be alright for the girls to stay up late. Ferret Walk Gamma, Arizona. They took the stage. Ferret, Bofo, Milo, and Larry were front and center. Destiny Shannon, Shannon Destiny, and Megan Shannon were in a huddle. They were whispering. Ferret and Bofo leaned in to listen. 
Shannon Destiny smiled. Megan Shannon looked over and gave Buffalo a wink. They broke the huddle and stood up front. Pretty city, the Megan said. Thanks for having us. The Megans were six inches tall. Then the clones played and Mimsy danced a hoedown. Buffo stood and Mimsy danced around him up front and center. Ferret sat in his little red wagon. Buffo was about to speak but Milo waved him off with his hand and started talking about the weather. It was a nice day. Then Buffo opened his mouth and Larry waved him off. Larry started talking about how he had a good memory from his youth. Ferret looked at Bofo. Bofo was silent. He shrugged his shoulders. He forgot what he was going to say. Bofo's phone rang and he excused himself to take the call. It was his wife, Sabrina. She gave him a small shopping list. She was sitting in front of the audience. She got on stage. Eggs, bacon, and cheese. She waved to the audience. Pretty city. Ferret Watt Gamma, New Mexico. Larry, Milo, and Ferret took the stage. Bofo was running late. Ferret was in his little red wagon. Bofo entered in a cowboy hat and a bandana over his face. He was pretending to hold up the audience. Bofo the kid was just pretending. The band, the clones played a hoedown in Mimsy and her friend Lisa were doing the West rope tricks. Lisa twirled the lariat over her head and she would step through it. The six inch tall Megans were square dancing. Larry and Trina, his partner, were also dancing. Then the spotlight was on Bofo. Bofo just slapped his thigh to the rhythm. Then the music stopped. Destiny Shannon spoke. Pretty country. Ferret Watt Gamma, Texas. Bofo pulled the little red wagon with Ferret in it. Ferret was looking at a map. Big place. They talked about how they were on the bus for two days and they passed all these small towns, hundreds of miles between them. It seemed to be that everyone lived in Dallas or El Paso. There was Houston and San Antonio so they were wrong. Texas had several cities. Milo and Larry took the stage in cowboy hats. Destiny Shannon was riding Bofo's pocket. She was six inches tall. The band played another song from the clones. Bofo's phone rang. It was the wife Sabrina. She was frantic because they thought they left Destiny Shannon in a truck stop in El Paso. It was the last time they saw her Bofo told him she was with him. Oh, okay. Then there was Mary Bat Puppet, and Mary Bat was a good little bat. Ferret Watt Gamma, Arkansas. 
In a college town in Little Rock, Bofo took the stage. Ferret was in his little red wagon, and Destiny Shannon was in his shirt pocket. There was a good crowd. She asked if they knew the way to Little Rock. They tried to tell her she was in Little Rock. So she asked if she could get there from there where she was. This is Little Rock. So it should be somewhere around here. Ferret and Bofo. The jelly beans he took with them were pretending they were little rocks. Bofo called his wife Sabrina and he told her he was going to finish Ferret Walk early. He wanted to drop in on his cousins. Sabrina said she didn't know he had cousins in Arkansas. Bofo asked, doesn't everybody? Ferret Walk Gamma, Tennessee. There were three young ladies playing cards on stage. Bofo walked in was on the phone to Ferret. Bofo was looking for the Megans. They never miss a show. Ferret told them to ask the card players. Bofo asked them if they saw the Megans. It turns out they are the Megans. He didn't recognize them without their masks. He did think the dark-haired lady looked like Shannon Destiny, but they were all normal size. Destiny Shannon had taken to writing in Bofo's shirt pocket, but she was too big today. Megan Shannon told Bofo that they have all got resizers and they work fine. Destiny Shannon and Megan Shannon looked much alike. They were both blonde. They were just cousins, though. Lisa was going to dance and do some rope tricks, and the clones would play a hoedown. Mary Bat was a good little bat. Ferret walked in. He was the only imaginary talking dog today. Even Mary Bat was out of her costume. She was a lovely brunette with dark curls. Larry and Milo started talking about girls. Buffalo called the wife Sabrina, and she told him the kids were growing up. Sabrina was there in a flash with a camera and took some pictures of everyone. Mimsy was the only one still in costume. She liked the attention she was getting, and she danced. You could see her smile under her mask. Ferret Walk Gamma, Kentucky. Bofo and Ferret were looking for the stage. They were in a parking lot. Bofo made some phone calls and used his GPS and it led them to an empty parking lot. They piled out of the buses. There they were, the Yes Men, the Ferret Walk audience they brought with them. So they were going to do a show right there in the parking lot. Kim called the truck stop on Planet Map, and there were some space truckers there. They would be right over with some flatbed trailers they could use for a stage. Buffalo looked overhead, and there were three space truckers with flatbed trailers coming in for a landing. They set one trailer up for the audience and two for the stage. Buffalo turned to Ferret and mentioned that he thought the space truckers were on the bus with them. Ferret said he just had coffee with them this morning. How did they do that? It was Misty, Jane, and Aaliyah. Buffo asked them if they just had coffee with Ferret. They said Ferret was mistaken. 
He looked over and saw Shannon Destiny sipping coffee from a small cup. Nah, couldn't be. Maybe it was the Megans they had coffee with. Ferret Walk Gamma, Pennsylvania. Bofo has a new computer. Bofo and Ferret were on the stage, and Bofo was on the net with his headphones on. Ferret waved his hands in front of Bofo, but he didn't notice. Ferret held a sign that said Philadelphia. The Megans had a Liberty Bell on a little red wagon. They had white wigs that looked like George Washington. Sabrina was dressed in red, white, and blue, and she carried a small flag. She waved it in front of Bofo, but he didn't notice. Kim had lit sparklers, and she waved them in front of Bofo. Still, he didn't move. Mimsy and Mary Bat were in costume, and they sat down both sides of Bofo. The band of clones played the national anthem, and the audience stood up. Bofo stood up and covered his heart, then sat back down. One by one, the people left, and Sabrina turned the lights out. Bofo stood up and stretched. Okay, let's start today's ferret walk. Then Bofo realized he was all alone. Ferret Walk Gamma, New York. Buffo and Ferret were on a ferry to Liberty Island to see the Statue of Liberty. They could already see it, but they were getting closer. Sabrina called him and told him that everyone was on the next ferry to the Liberty Island. Ferret and Buffo got to the island and sat down at the feet of the statue. The next ferry arrived and Sabrina was there with the Megans and Mary Bat. Mimsy and Larry were taking pictures. Sabrina asked Bofo what he thought. He told her the statue just vanished. She tapped him on the shoulder and pointed behind him. It didn't disappear. It was behind him. Destiny Shannon and Mary Bat were posing for pictures in front of the statue. They were trained to get in other people's pictures. Mary Bat said she was ready for her close-up, Mr. Director. Ferret Walk Gamma, Maine. Buffo drew a picture of a moose and told Ferret that was the suspect. The moose was wanted for questioning and a possible photo opportunity. Ferret passed the drawing around the audience. Shannon Destiny wondered if they only came out at night like fireflies. Megan Shannon was wearing a shirt from a petting zoo. Destiny Shannon passed her on a picture of a buffalo. This was a known accomplice. Bofo suggested they split up and cover more ground. They would meet back in a half hour. Kim and Sabrina decided to stay and hold the fort down. The crowd scattered. They met back in a half hour and there were drawings of the moose on the wall. Nobody had been able to take any pictures. Mary, Bat, and Mimsy were walking down a trail and they were befriended by a moose. 
it followed them several feet, and they stopped, and so did the moose. Mary, Bad, and Mimsy forgot to get a camera, but they went back to the fort and the moose followed. Buffo looked at the drawing, then the moose. They didn't look anything alike. Wrong moose.